Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collab with three of my beautiful friends here on YouTube. My Life Wendy, H is Just a Number with Barbara Jean, and About Face with Mona. And we decided to do this because March is the month that we celebrate women. And it's just not something in the US, but March 8th is celebrated internationally. And this is how we find out, or this is to give thanks to the way that women have uh, contributed to this country, not only in a social, economic, cultural, and political achievements. And, and some examples of that are Abigail Adams, Susan B. Anthony, and Rosa Parks. So we wanted to do something. We wanted to create a look with all women-owned brands. And to tell you the truth, I didn't buy, have to buy anything because I love purchasing from women-owned brands. And um, some of them are smaller brands, some of them are larger brands. And I was surprised when I was doing my research to find out that Laura Mercier, it is not owned or founded. Maybe it was founded at one time by a woman, but now it is not. It is owned by Shiseido, I believe it is. And yeah, it's a gentleman that runs the company. So I had a finishing powder by her and I had to put it back. All right, so I already started by um, putting, I used this as a primer and as a moisturizer because it's already like 10 o'clock at night, so I don't need sunscreen. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury, um, the Magic Cream. And this looks beautiful under any kind of foundation. I love this, it is pricey but it is beautiful it's the same as the bobby brown the one uh i can't remember what it's called all about face or something like that that you can it's moisturizing but it's also a primer and then i also used a little bit of the tatcha primer on my cheeks right here on the side of my nose my chin a little bit on my forehead so today i'm going to be using a powder foundation which i never really do on my channel but i do love powder foundations i especially in the summer i really use them a lot so before I do that, I'm going to use my concealer. And I guess I was very sure I was gonna, I was not gonna need help with a, um, how do you call that, um, beauty blender because I didn't bring one with me. Okay, first of all, let's put this hair back. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the one from Yoma, Woma Woke Concealer. And this is a pretty much a full coverage concealer. It is a nice one. Um, but it is full coverage, but I like it. I like it a lot. I also like their foundation, but what I wanted to do is every step of my makeup is a different brand because I wanted to feature as many brands as I possibly could. So we're going to put a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here and right there where I have most of my darkness. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, here. And then since I'm using a powder foundation, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, right here where I have my uh, my dark spots. So I use a little more concealer than usual. And I am going to use this brush right here. Oh, I'm also using brushes from BK Beauty, which is uh, from Lisa J's line, which I have exciting news, guys, regarding BK Beauty they are going to send me pr they're going to send me their um their travel brushes and also their sponge they have a new sponge and they gave me a discount code is that exciting or what i am so excited for that i love her brushes i own many of them uh, i own all her lipsticks i also own her palette so i do um let me put a little bit of my chin. I definitely do support her brand. And I love being able to receive PR from brands that I love, right? It's like perfect. All right, so I think, let me put a little more under my, right here, right where my darkest spots are my darkest circle. I'm going to speed up through some of this video so it's not so long. Okay, so I'm using the Laura Geller. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium. 
so this is what it looks like i love this i've gone through several of these and i can either use the medium or the light there's not that big of a difference this is a hot and flashy brush and i'm going to try using it with this brush and let's see if it works this foundation is really really pretty i really do like it and she has another one that's not marbled i also i also own that one and uh, i like it too see can you see the difference in the coverage it's really beautiful okay so for my under eyes i am going to use my under eye my favorite under eye powder i ordered i ran out of my other one and i ordered one from um sephora and it came broken so they are sending me another one to replace it this powder you have to be super careful this uh it breaks very very easily i broke the other one by dropping it but um yeah that one it didn't and you know sephora does not um package their stuff very well so it's not hard for it to crumble all right now for my primer for my eyes i'm going to use the abh and i'm going to put that on my eyes and i'll be right back all right so i went ahead and i set my primer and i'm going to use the gourmand girl spectra palette and this is from christina gourmand and she is a small indie woman-owned brand and she has amazing um, palettes. This is the fourth one. I have four of them. And they're all beautiful. Great uh, formula. She also has lipsticks, lashes. Uh, she has a face palette that brings uh, highlighters that is gorgeous. And yeah, she has a really, really good brand. So I also have a discount code for her, which is listed below. So I'm going to start with this one right here. It's called Havana Club. And it's a brown and I'm going to use the mirror on the palette and I'm pretty much going to put it right like right here Okay, I'm going to go to a darker shade, which is this one right here. It's also a brown and it's called Nudist. I'm going to use the same brush. Okay, I'm going to go into this beautiful wine tasting, which is like a really deep wine color it almost has like a little bit of an eggplant shade to it so it looks really pretty i'm still using the same brush because i'm just moving from lightest to darkest so i can go ahead and just keep using the same brush her shadows are so amazing they're so easy to blend um very little fallout if any they're just they're just so easy and it's a pleasure to you to use them you guys don't know Christina I'm gonna list she also has a uh, YouTube channel I'm going to list her YouTube channel and also her Instagram and her website for her products and she is a gem she's the sweetest ever okay I'm gonna take another brush a bigger fluffier brush and kind of like just blend over here Okay, I'm going to take this shade here. It's called Pink Sand. And I'm going to use my finger and put that... Ooh, that, that felt so buttery. Put that on my mobile, uh, mobile lid. That is a pretty pink. Okay, I'm going to go to the brush that has that... Um, 
purplish wine color. No, uh, it doesn't have any additional uh, shadow on it. I just wanted to kind of blend the edge. Other eye. This is a beautiful, so buttery. And no fallout. Okay, I'm going to take that same brush with the purple. Just make sure everything is blended. I'm going to grab a little more of that wine color. Very pretty. All right, now I am going to take this um, pencil brush and I'm going to take this one right here, which is called Twilight, and put a little bit of it on my outer corner and kind of just take it into the, um, the inner corner right here. It's a beautiful shade also. I've had this palette for a while. This is the first time I use it. Guys, I have so many beautiful palettes that I haven't used yet. And look at what a beauty I was sitting on. All right, so I'm going to take a little tiny, tiny brush. Take some of that brown, that uh, wine tasting, and put it a little bit on my lower lash line. just on the outer edge, just a tiny bit. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for my eyes now. And for my brows, I have my Huda, and this is, what is it called? Bump Brows Full and Fluffy. And this is like this, the tiniest brush ever. All right, for bronzer, I am going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And wow, look what I did with my nails. This wasn't today. Wait, can you see? Gosh, why is this camera having such a hard time focusing? Yeah, I did a good job on that. So I am going to take this. No, that's too small. This brush right here. And just go into the bronzer. I like this bronzer because it's very uh, gentle. <laughs> um, my type of bronzer it doesn't give you like really dark cheeks. All right. So for blush, I'm going to use M Cosmetics. And this is the Venetian Rose. And I'm going to use the same brush just on the other side. This is a beautiful, I love M Cosmetics. They're so, so good. Their makeup is soft. It's nothing, I don't know, it just makes you feel very feminine and soft and, you know, some makeup, it can be loud. <laughs> M Cosmetics is just beautiful. It is not a loud makeup. Okay, and for my highlighter, I'm going to use one from Merit, and this is in the shade Bounce, I guess. They have like three different ones. I got this one because it has like a little bit of pink in it. I don't know if you can see it. It has like a tiny bit of pink. This is such a buttery. Oh my God, it's amazing. It does not lift your makeup. Um, it's so easy to apply. It blends right into your skin. It's just gorgeous. It's buttery. I mean, I, I don't know. It's one of the one of the creamiest, easiest to apply cream 
concealers ever. Concealers, listen to me. It's just gorgeous. Okay, for finishing powder, the, I ha actually have enough products from Merit to do a full face, and I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. And I've purchased it all myself. I know a lot of my friends have received it in PR. I have not been lucky enough to be sent anything by them yet, but maybe soon. So I'm going to be using the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I love this finishing powder. This is like, a, it's almost like a baked powder, but it just looks beautiful. It doesn't, it never looks heavy. It just gives you like a beautiful, soft glow to your skin. I was gonna use, this is the one that I was gonna use the Laura Mercier. And then I found out that Laura Mercier is not woman owned. So I had it backtrack, but this is beautiful and a lot more affordable than the Laura Mercier. All right, so now for mascara. I am going to use the Ilia Mascara. This is a beautiful mascara. It has a huge brush, but it is a beautiful mascara. Look at that. You can see the difference in just one coat I didn't use a primer for my ma my lashes because um I couldn't think of any woman owned primers that I have but I usually like to wear primer with my mascara I think it makes a big difference but this mascara is good without it. The only thing is you really need to stop after like two coats because otherwise it starts getting clumpy on you. Just a little bit of my lower lashes. Look at that. Okay, so now for lipsticks, I am going to use this lip liner by Flower Beauty. And it's in the shade. This can be a lip liner or you can use it as a lipstick. It's a new, they just released this, these uh, pencils. And this one is in the color Taupe. Top. Taupe. All right, and my lipstick is going to be from Pat McGrath, and look at the gorgeous, I mean, all of Pat McGrath's lipsticks are, have beautiful packaging, but look at this one. This one, this one, when it first launched, it was more expensive than their regular lipsticks, and her lipsticks are already expensive, okay? So, um, as tempted as I was from day one, I said, I am not gonna get it, because that's a lot of money. Well, guess what? They, put, they marked them down. And I had to jump and get it. This is in the shade. I don't know, I can't see it. I will put it in the description box. But I'm sure the shade is still there, just not probably. You can't find the packaging anymore. This is so luxurious. It's so pretty to pick this, take this out of your purse if I go anywhere. No, because I really don't. Okay, so let me look at my makeup to see if it, how it looks. I'm going to take this brush. This is the one that had like the little purple one. and kind of like even this out. Sometimes I don't go on high, as high on that eye as I do on the other one. And yes, where, after you put your, your mascara on is when you notice if anything needs to be tweaked. This is a beautiful eye look. This is a gorgeous palette. 
and i mean you can go it has a lot of pops of color but you, you can see this is pretty much i mean it's not neutral as far as browns and stuff like that but you can still create one with brown shades in here but i mean there's some beautiful ones this purple one look at that look at that purple shade i don't know what's wrong with you camera you really upset me and let's see this one here look at that how pretty i mean this is just a gorgeous palette all of her palettes are gorgeous so i'm gonna link below um any uh, videos that i have with some christina's palettes in case you're interested in seeing it I, again i do have a discount code for her below it's a non-affiliate code and i love all of her palettes and i'm so glad i finally got to use this, this is the only one that i had not been uh i had not used yet so i think it looks really pretty i think the blush looks perfect uh, do you see how this foundation looks pretty on the face and it's so quick to use okay so enough about me so you guys know my three friends you guys know wendy you know barbara jean and mona and we just did a um a collab recently and if you want to i'll go ahead and uh, it was for valentine's day and it was uh skincare and we had a giveaway so i'm going to link it below in case you guys are in the cards in case you guys would like to watch that i love them they're amazing we're very supportive we don't put any stress on each other when we're collabing if something happens and we need to move the date it's not a big deal we all pitch in we all give our opinions and it's very very easy to do a collab with a with the four of us sometimes collabs can be very very stressful and that's why i don't do a lot of them because I have enough stress in my life. But with them, is easy peasy. Let me move you back. It is easy peasy. It is fun. Uh, all these ladies love beauty, uh, fashion, product reviews. So if you haven't checked them out, because I've you know, asked you before to check them out, please make sure you do. If you're here from one of their channels, thank you th so, so much for visiting and watching my video. And I hope that you decide to stay with me and be part of my channel. All right, guys, uh, to my three friends, thank you so, so much for invite inviting me and including me in this amazing collab. I love you guys. I love your support. Thank you so much. I love you, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah.